Going back to school amid the coronavirus pandemic is looking different in every state and even every county throughout America. With some schools going online, some going in person, and some doing a hybrid model, it's clear that there's no one-size-fits-all solution. Our back to school at Wadsworth was a little bit different too, as students had the option to return to school in person or go online. Though we have the option to gather together in person, the basic structure of our school newspaper, The Bruin, is still threatened. There is no guarantee that we will be able to continue having in-person classes for the entirety of the year, so our staff is working to plan ahead so we are ready for whatever obstacles we may have to face. We've just had to been thinking about schedule a lot because anything could change and it's just very good to have an idea of what are you going to do each day. I mean, you got to use every second, like you might not get another one, so. It's going to be the opposite, December's going to be crunched and then January is like we have all of January. So. Part of making the schedule is planning on when to finish our print issues and send it to our printer. We typically create eight issues per year, but this year we plan on only printing seven to allow time for specific scenarios, which may include student quarantine or school shutdown, the latter having the ability to halt production of any sort of print issue due to not being able to access the proper publishing software at home. Though we do have a website, the excitement of being on staff of the Bruin is creating the monthly printed issues together. The whole like program just is really fun to be a part of. There's always laughter in the room and we get to produce product at the same time. I'm just worried that we're not going to have enough readers and we're not going to be able to bring in funds because if we get put online then we're not going to be able to publish and then if we don't publish then we're kind of letting down our readers and our fan base. In an attempt to solve some of these problems we're faced with this year, editors met up over the summer via Zoom calls to plan out our first couple of weeks of school. One of our ideas was to split into committees to help figure out what changes will need to be made, including budget, scheduling, backup plans, and finding alternative software. Which is something we have never needed to include before because we've always relied on the tools in our computer lab at school to create our paper, using software such as InDesign and Photoshop and unfortunately, staff members are unable to access them at home. Not only that, the financial situation for our paper has sent the staff into a minor panic as our income this year is compromised. The Bruin is self-funded, so we rely on a patron system to earn most of our money. To combat some of the uncertainties we faced this year, the Bruin staff worked hard on a five-year plan to give an idea on what this year's income could look like. We've had to be very fluid with everything that we've been doing, and being very willing to change our schedules. I mean, we've had like three different schedules for the next few months in the past 24 hours. Uh, we have to be on the fly a lot, just be, always be willing to change what we're doing. I didn't think we were really gonna do any print issues, which now we might get to. And I also didn't think we were gonna last as long as we did. I thought we would be online already. Our school this year is requiring students to wear masks and stay at least three feet apart at all times. This has drastically changed the Bruin, as we are used to sitting close together to collaborate on a story, peering over each other's shoulders to edit, and switching between computers to help with a layout. These things are no longer allowed, as social distancing is being upheld in order to prevent the spread of the virus. I think one of the main things that we did is we really tried to, like, evaluate everything that we had to get done and what we needed to do and then we distributed among like people very well. I feel like there's just been a lot more communication with the writers just so like they have our expectations and that we can focus on what we need to figure out to make their their year as enjoyable as possible so. I don't know what to expect from this year. Um, it was all in the in the air. We don't know what was happening. We just always had a plan I guess but I didn't know what to expect. 